What's going on, Sports Cars fans? Ray from Philly here. It's Thursday, October 13th. And this here is another episode that I like to call The Call to the Hall. This is episode number 13. These are rookie cards of players that I'm just trying to start a, a discussion about whether or not you feel this player should be or could be eventually getting into the Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying I think they, they deserve to be in. It's just a discussion to see whether or not you feel this player's numbers and career contributions deserve for him uh, to get into the Hall of Fame. Uh, some of the other guys that I've shown so far in the other 12 episodes, uh, a 55 tops Ken Boyer rookie, 64 tops Tommy John rookie, 67 tops Reggie Smith, uh, the Al Oliver rookie, Greg Nettles rookie, Daryl Evans rookie, Bobby Gritch rookie, uh, Carlo, uh, Carlos Delgado rookie, Jim Edmonds rookie, Paul Canerco, Chase Utley, um, and I think that's 11. I'm missing one more. I can't remember who else it was. Um, Tommy John was the last one that I showed. So without further ado, on episode number 13 here, I uh, want to see what you guys think about this player. We'll go over his numbers and compare him to other comparable Hall of Famers or players that are already in. And that's the 1991 Ultra Update, uh, Luis Gonzalez, and a Gem Mint 10. Of course, I can't get the glare off of the light behind me. So I'm going to flip the phone around, give you guys a closer look. Then we're going to go over some of his career uh, accomplishments, his numbers, everything, and do some comparisons to some other players. So right here, the 91 Ultra Update of Luis Gonzalez. This set also has a couple other Hall of Famers in there. It's quite becoming pretty popular, this set now. with You have the Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez rookie in there, Mike Mussina rookie, Jeff Bagwell. So just to name a few. So I'm going to flip the phone around. We'll get a closer look at... Uh, Luis Gonzalez's rookie card. Okay, so I wanted to give you a much better look at this card. It's, it's always been an underrated set, in my opinion, the 91 Ultra Update. Like I said, they have the Bagwell rookie in there, um, the Mike Mussina, and the Avon Pudge Rodriguez. And there's some other great cards in there as well. That year was a pretty big year for rookies uh, with Mo Vaughn and there's some other great sets from 91, like uh, I'm a big fan of 91 Leaf Gold, uh, which was a, a black border set with some gold trim. Beautiful looking set. Uh, 91 was, I think, the first year Stadium Club came out. It's just It was a pretty big year for, uh, for, for cards in 1991. But Luis Gonzalez, as you can see here, started with the Houston Astros. Uh, his biggest successful years came with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, was the uh, World Series MVP. I'm pretty sure it was the World Series MVP. We'll take a look at that in 2001 uh, when his Diamondbacks beat the New York Yankees. And he had a huge year that year with hitting 57 bombs. So I know right off the bat, a lot of these players that I mention, people will instantly be like, oh, no, 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 not, no way does he deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. But if you look at these numbers and do comparisons to some other players that are in, uh, it makes you think. And that's all I'm trying to do is just get people to think about certain players from the past that maybe they could pick up their rookie cards on the cheap and hold on to them, and you never know. So I love this set. I love this card. It's a great-looking card. 91 Ultra Update, uh, Fleer Ultra Update, Luis Gonzalez, Gem and 10. So now we're going to go to my computer screen, laptop, and take a look at his career numbers and do some comparisons for Luis Gonzalez. Hold on. Okay, so we're back on uh, baseball reference here. And like I said, his numbers are really, really spectacular. A five-time All-Star, 2001 World Series Champ Silver Slugger Award winner. 
Uh, his, as far as Saber metrics go, his war is a little low, 51.6. Most Hall of Famers have at least a 75 war, but I'm not really that big on war. Um, his other statistics, 2,591 career hits, 354 home runs, a 283 career batting average, so pretty good hitter on average. 1,412 runs scored, 1,439 RBI, 121 steals with a 119 OPS plus. So pretty good. You come down here where they have what they what reference calls Hall of Fame monitor. And his Hall of Fame monitor is a 103. Uh, likely Hall of Famers usually have 100. His is a 103. So that's a good uh, statistic right there. Here is his comparisons, the 10 similar batters. Of those 10, three are in the Hall of Fame. And the three that are in the Hall of Fame are Billy Williams, um, Billy Williams, uh, Tony Perez, and Harold Baines. The other players, I think all these other players should be in eventually as well. Dave Parker, Dwight Evans, Torrey Hunter, Bobby Abreu, Chili Davis, and Rusty Staub. I'm not sure about Chili Davis. Not 100% sure about Rusty Stop, but those other players, Parker, Evans, Torrey Hunter has a great shot. Bobby Abreu has, has a shot. Still Beltran's on this list as well. So this is who Luis Gonzalez is similar to in offensive categories. He was on the Hall of Fame ballot in 2014. The Veterans Committee, not the Veterans Committee, the BBWAA did, did terrible, 0.9%. But He's eventually going to be put on to the Veterans Committee, which now the Veterans Committee or Errors Committee has condensed it down to just two committees now where they had at least uh, three or four errors. Now it's just uh, classic and contemporary. So his statistics, I mean, he's, it's something that makes you go, hmm, like his numbers are a lot better than people might think. Uh, look at his career started in 1991 with Houston, went to the Chicago Cubs, which I don't remember him playing with the Cubs in 95 and 96, went back to Houston in 97, Detroit in 98, where he hit 23 homers, 71 RBIs. And then 1999, this is where he had a fantastic uh, five-year stretch in 99 with Arizona, 206 hits, led the league in hits. 26 home runs, 111 RBI, 336 average, 2,000, 31 homers, 114 RBI, 311 average. And then the big year, 2001, uh, 57 home runs, 142 RBIs with a 325 batting average, finished in the top five in MVP. Um, keeps going, 2002, 28 homers, 103 RBIs. 2003, 26 homers, 104 RBI. So he had five straight 100 RBI seasons, led the league in hits in 99, 57 homers in 2001. Um, just fan fantastic numbers all around. So I want to know what you guys think. Yay or nay on Luis Gonzalez, or at least uh, we'll be on the Veterans Committee and maybe down the road, who knows, 5, 10, 20 years, he might have a shot. And that's it. So thanks for tuning in. I just want to give another quick look here on the 91 Ultra Update, Luis Gonzalez, Rookie Gem Mint 10. Again, guys, don't forget the Sports Card Hall of Fame Network channel on YouTube. I'll post the link down before, uh, down below. I did just post some content recently where I'm doing a, a preview of a certain card that's in the Hall of Fame. On the first episode a month ago, I did the 89 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr., uh, the last episode, we I discussed the 54 Bowman, Ted Williams. Make sure you check it out. Subscribe to that. Tell everybody about it. We're trying to get that to, to grow. And then next year, we're adding the Football Card Hall of Fame. So don't forget to check that out as well. One more look here. 91 Ultra Update, Luis Gonzalez. Tomorrow night, stay tuned. Friday Night Vintage. I'm showing a card for, yes, the 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century by Mike Payne, PSA set registry. That will be my card number 205 for that set. So it's kind of a somewhat milestone number there. So stay tuned for that tomorrow night. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Stay tuned. Like I always say, have fun with it. 
See you real soon. Bye-bye.